Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the nerf, it. the nerf it. has, all it. it has done is punished one type of people and not the other type. It has done nothing else. It has made... It's because yeah. the well, other type was already is, punished. Yeah. And without is, block penetration, now no AMCs are effective. I think the real Which question... Which means both sides are even. But, yeah. but they're kind of not though, especially with the, with the added regen under fire for shield. <laughs> Well, you're never you, gonna get through them. Well, you see, the thing is with my misfit, I used to be able to shoot my sniper shot for eight seconds. Now I'm gonna shoot it for four. Yeah, my my ballistic goes through 1.2 billion energy in like 10 seconds. Yeah. No, no. It, my, it's, it's insane. The hailstorm could do a billion energy in a second if it had that much storage. Yeah, yeah. It, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like, how much freaking energy do I really need to fire this freaking thing? I mean, as, yeah. as it stood, you know, before this new nerf, I, I still wasn't even able to fire indefinitely. Like, I still kept draining energy. My energy regen couldn't keep up with my, my gun. Yeah. yeah. I could barely move without draining energy. Like, I, I had literally had to nerf my own thrust to keep up with my energy. And I've got like five or six million energy a second. It's like, it, how it, much freaking energy do I need? Seriously. It's gotten down to the point where if you want a ship that does a buttload of damage, you have to build a capital to the size of a few sectors in size. No, that's what, no, you don't. That, that's, but the question, the, it's, it's, don't, don't think of it as now you're nerfed. There's a lot of other people. No, I'm I saying mean, I everybody's I like it because it rebalances the whole game. Oh, I like shit. it. I don't, I don't see it as, you know, it's just there to screw people. It's there to, to bring the game to a new level. Well, yeah, I think, but they're I mean, bringing I get, it down a level with this AMC. Yeah, I, I They're get not actually the, elevating I, it. I get so the I idea, that. I get the point, but I don't like it. I think he could have done it a different way, because as I, I think... said, the, the energy requirement for it now is just exponential. And, like, and for it was bigger already arrays, bad enough. Evan's right, he should have just made it re take longer to reload for the energy to travel from the ship to the weapon systems and that would have um, balanced it because then you couldn't rapid fire shotguns anymore. I'm just gonna say, and, and I'm just, I'm just gonna say if, if you saw the numbers that were posted up by some of the testers, the biggest problem is that Obviously, everyone will scramble over the best pattern and the best AMC layout for DPS. And the simple fact was that the best pattern was basically an inverted waffle layered on top of each other, like a one-layer checkerboard with lots of single-block AMC groups all not touching. And if you did that over, like, I think it was 2,000 blocks, then you'd get 400,000 DPS. Which isn't really right when you think about it. So when you look at how, how good shields are and you look at how good missiles are, AMCs were just light years ahead in terms... There was a vacuous gap of... Yeah, you know, but I, th I think it was nerfed too much. It, I agree it was nerfed very hard, okay? Because the fact yeah. is the nerf doesn't just affect your DPS. It drains your cap. Your super cap now has no power. That means you can't yeah. move. That means your shields don't regenerate because you've got no power storage for them to regen from. Yeah. Yeah. And the the thing we brought up is since there's no penetration block penetration, it doesn't right. matter if you have a sniper type. It, it doesn't matter. AMCs are now pointless. Have because... we got a ballistics gel out and tried a few famous ships on it to see what happens yet? Well, I can tell you right now from firing my ballistic after this nerf that I can't fire more than a few seconds. Well, the hailstorm but, fires but the thing, though, is all that... energy and it fires for a third of its expected power. Yeah, the, uh, that's the thing is, is the reason the washboard pattern was effective is because without block penetration, you need that many arrays just to be able to slice through someone's hull. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, but the thing is, you know, like, if he really want, like I was saying that, with with this new power requirement, because every, every no, no, every array that you add to, to each computer, you're going to add 10% more energy to the whole computer. So, 
you know, it, it doesn't count, you know, obviously it doesn't count every array separately. It counts the whole unit, the whole, everything linked to that computer gets 10% more energy every mm. single time you add a new array to it. So, you know, it, it, at that point, I think, you know, everybody's going to start saying, okay, well, rather than having 100 individual AMCs arrays, I'm going to have 20, well, or I'm going to have 10, or I'm going to have one. The interesting thing but about so this was that someone suggested there were two ways to limit the amount of lag from high projectile count weapons. First was limit the projectile count, and the second was limit the observers, right? Obviously, there's other right. things that you could do, but those are the two basic ways. And I see this uh, as a way a to limit way to projectile count. But there's a better way to do that. And my, my thinking was the way... Okay, he said originally in, in the, the pre-build before that, mm. that what he wanted to do was bigger weapons have slower re re recharge, yeah. um, recharge rates, right? Yeah. Well, but so it, it reload. doesn't work. Yeah, because, reload. It, yeah, but it's, it's broken because I've tested it. It's broken okay. because it doesn't work right. But if he fixed that, it would work because effectively what that means is that the highest firing rate possible yeah. would be a one block AMC array. And at that point, he could set it to whatever he wanted to. So for example, he could put that at say 100 millisecond reload, which would be 10 shots a second, which is you know lower than what it would have been a really big one. You know what I mean? So it, it, but, but that effectively puts a hard cap on the amount of shots per second of any array mm. and everything subsequently after that fires slower than that so yeah, which... until you get to you know you know you can only fire once every 10 minutes you, you know mm. what i mean you, you know you get where i'm going at with it i so think i think that that was an effective way of limiting that already but then he added the power this whole power requirement to prevent people from making shotgun arrays the, the, specifically the, shotgun arrays yeah well the, the only problem with amcs it works yeah, with metal. right only with amcs exactly <laughs> see the, the i think that the thing is a lot of lag and was probably down to these big arrays because i i know because hailstorm all the migraine triggers they're pretty much junk now um oh yeah they're all junk now you know <clears> and, and the reason for that is due to this change they just don't have enough power to even shoot once. You know, most of them exactly. can shoot maybe... The, the Hailstorm shoots a third and dumps 262 million energy. The MTX can fire three times before it runs out. I haven't tried out the MT3 yet, but basically the entire system just needs to be redesigned. But I think I'm going to wait because what I expect will happen is he'll, he might dial it back a bit. I don't know. But I would expect with there's going to be a lot of people moaning about broken ships, you know. Oh, oh yeah. Because no everything doubt. built up to this point is is broken. Every all all of the powerful <laughs> ships now are basically are junk because exactly. you fire. Yeah. It's like it would be okay if you could dump all your energy into a shot that did something. Yeah, like I would yeah. be okay with a net with a gun using all of its energy in a single shot if it was actually worth it but for 300,000 exactly. damage it's not even going to break it's not worth it that's not going to break anything no. I mean, unless it's a small ship honestly i think the best way to balance it out if if it's not just about the lag if it's amount of damage it's doing it just institute two separate types of shields that i talked about mm. a kinetic and an energy this way a missiles yeah. can have more of an effectiveness yeah yeah and b if you don't have enough energy shields then it balances out so smaller arrays are now effect because you have capital ships now you have to decide well should i have more kinetic defense or more yeah energy defense? and we were talking a bit in a thread on the community actually about uh em missiles came up in discussion yeah to disable, well, to disable, yeah, to disable, well, to disable yeah. shields as well because you know <laughs> need a missile type that's useful against shields you know because yeah. then like, bomber well, fighters have a use yeah, but I think with, you know, with Kushar, with your idea, I think if he were to implement some kind of natural resistance within Hall to that too resist AMC fire, then well, there is, you, there know, is you wouldn't really need to hardened a new type of shield. Well, hardened yeah, hull has a higher is, resist. Is, is, is pointless because <laughs> you only need 400 damage. Yeah. 400 damage happens ah, at yeah, but, 250 but, blocks. Yeah, but then you say that. And that's it. That was before. Hey, but hey, this hey. is, say for example now, 
the way everyone's talking about it, it sounds to me like hull is uh, actually worth armor now. Because if there's no penetration, then surely <coughs> hull is actually worth something. Because it was like tissue paper up until now, to be honest. Hull well, that's because worth everything was anything. firing so quickly. It's true. And on top of the reload nerf and the power cost increase, you're forced to use less arrays. Yeah. Per, uh, to per computer, so you're not dealing as much DPS as you used to. It's scaled right, the my, game my down, is, I think. Yeah, but the problem, exactly. But the, my problem is, is that because now we've got this, this, this shields regening under fire. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're now, now it really is a numbers game because if you cannot, if you cannot keep up with, if your DPS cannot outmatch my regen, I'm invulnerable to you. Yeah. Period. But that's Which how it is I in a lot of games. Crap. That's how it is in a lot of games, though. Because what it means is, to out DPS Silly. him, you need to have a wing of buddies if you're not able to kick his boots harder than he can kick yours. I think what he's really going for, the creator of this game, yeah. I think he's more intending it for small ships, not big I ships. I think like, it is starting to favor yeah. them big time, yeah. But this, I, I this, think that was the whole point. From the but beginning. you've got to see it from the other side of the coin here, all right? Say I'm a type of guy who likes to go around public servers ruffle stomping with a giant space gun. I mean, we've seen we've seen Havoc build a cloakable waffle board which can bust through 200 layers of hull in a single shot every time. And it's because of the gl a glitch in Java and the pattern of the array mixed with it being an inv uh, a checkerboard waffle all the way through. I think it was called the Spectre. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the Spectre. And that was ages ago, so it's like, to be honest, if you think about if you think about using that as a base and just make it bigger for the lols, you know, you could do a lot of damage with not very much cost, so... Yeah, I, I think, though, it could have been balanced a different way. I think he yeah, balanced that's, that's so bad. Yeah, I mean... For an example, what yeah. he did is what WoW did to, um, uh, Warlocks. I'm not familiar basically, with like, that, but carry on. Uh, basically, the whole story goes is they nerfed him so bad now they were a useless class. He's basically right. taken AMCs and they're why? Well, it's, we could we could take. It was too. Much. There's there's another angle to this as well, right? We're in an alpha. We're all testing. That is true. We're we're all testing. At the moment, the AMC is the favorite, so everyone uses the AMC. Nobody would bother with anything else. Maybe he wants to get some test data on something else. Like if, if he if he was to <laughs> turn around, yeah. If he was to turn around and give us something new to play with, which everyone would then start using, you know, because the natural thing would be, you know, in in, a, in an alpha stage, the natural thing to do is to make everything really cheap, make it really easy to level up, so you get access to everything in the tree really quickly, and. Like, later on in the game, they'll put in ways to make it harder and take more time so there's more playability in each stage of it. But at the moment, we've got AMCs. There's no point in having missiles because they're just so much more powerful. And I think that by dialing yeah. it down, it's, it's making people rethink the game a little bit. I mean, I, I exactly don't think he's finished of... tweaking it, I'll be honest. That is oh, no, true. He's not. No, he's not. But he's missiles are him. still somewhat pointless as well. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and they missiles, see the thing is, that my, right my thing is, is that missiles so nerf... are only effective if the shields go down. Well, this and is the thing, that the shields more, don't go down. The shields are more robust now. <laughs> shields AMC... don't go down. <laughs> exactly, that's my point. Yeah, yeah. With less AMC power. More, so, well, that tells so me that missiles robust. are going to eventually get a buff. They must do, but... or... Yeah, well, they must do, because at the moment, the strategy is use AMCs or, or, to take the shields down, and then if you w are going to use missiles, that's the point at which you can use missiles. Then you but shoot your missiles. You've yeah, got a five-second window of opportunity if they're a big ship to get anything in there. <laughs> now, we're, we're well, missing the one small now. detail, though. Yeah. One small detail. It could be that, that AMCs are meant for, like, if you've played any Minecraft mods where there are tiers to techs, Maybe AMC is just the Tech One guy, ah, so he'll and bring he's working out on Tech Two and Tech proton Three. Proton and plasma and whatever else. Yeah, so, but, yeah, higher tech missiles and higher tech guns. It would make maybe. sense. 
Yeah. So this way, maybe that's the reason for the nerf of the MC. They're meant to be a tech one. It's gun. part of a plan. And capital ships yeah. are tech five ships. Ooh, that sounds like a, <laughs> see, this that is sounds freaking cool. See, well, that's the that's sort the of thing case, I get behind. I'm okay with this because I would yeah. love. I mean, if that's to have the case, ion cannon, for real. yeah. If that's the case, <laughs> fine. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. If he's then nerfing fine. it, I would be okay I, with that. It would be very that's easy that's to assuming. do. Yeah, but it would be very... Come on, guys. It would be so easy to do when you think about it. It's just a question of doing it right, and that takes time. So I'm behind Scheme 100%. But... Yeah. Because I, I think he has got plans to put a lot of stuff in. And it's just, like I say, it's time. And also, every week, he must be getting flooded with bug reports. So you've got to go through all those as well, and that's oh, yeah. pack projects. And... Yeah, because yeah, Because yeah. I'm, I'm sitting sure. here thinking, because he has plans of adding new types of weapons. Hmm. Maybe this is just part one of him getting ready exactly. to add it's a, a roadmap. tier two. It could just maybe, be a maybe, roadmap. Okay, yeah. well, I, I think I see what you're saying because, I mean, you know, again, as it, as it stands right now, I'm not a fan of this whole new energy requirement thing. Yeah. But, yeah. but I would be okay with it yeah. if, Kashar, what you're saying was the way it was going. Yeah, because if we're just using tier one energy production and tier one it energy... It shouldn't be able to take down weapons, any kind of capital shielding. Yeah. Ever. Exactly. Um, exactly. I hate to break from the current chain of conversation, but Tom, yeah. if you could teleport me to you, I have a little present for you. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, well, yeah, sure. To do. Yay. But, but think about Is there that. another think admin that could like... do it? Because I'm currently filming the yeah, combo. Yeah, I got you. Uh, who is it? Zero? Yeah. Alright. Then uh... he goes up to like tier 10. Yeah. Then you have tier 10, 10 type okay. shields, tier 10 type weapons. Is it capital Z? Capital Z, capital S, underscore between. It may be ultra hauling, who knows? Well, this is the thing. I mean, I know that there were plans for another type of shielding, directional shielding. There's some kind of anti sun shielding that mentioned at some point. Heat shields. Definitely, there was tractor beams have been mentioned, warp drive has been mentioned. Tractor beams, oh my gosh. Yeah, um, that was one of the first things I asked way back when Ambush Gamer were around and reporting. So like, I remember I asked in one of the Q and A's, like their week one or something, I said, ah, oh, got tracked a bit and it was really planned. Um, the, like there's loads of stuff planned and it's like, yeah, so this just might be the start of something new instead of the beginning of the end for AMCs. Maybe AMCs well, are just meant for small ships. Because this a bit. Yeah, no, I, I think I think you, you could be onto something there, Kishar. If that's the case, then that I'm yeah. I'm I would I would accept it. And when you look, if you took Earth. a look at if you took a look at the custom block mod uh, maker, uh, this game was built on expandability. Um, yeah, and mods. <laughs> like, okay, sure, the modding community can't get on it yet, but. As a developer, I'm pretty sure that adding... Because you've already seen all these new blocks coming in the last few months. Yeah. Like, you got to think there was the Pulsator. That was that was quite a new block, to be fair. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, let's just point it this way. This is Minecraft on steroids in space. Mm. Right. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I will... I will... I mean, you know, I'm not... I'm not, com I'm not necessarily complaining that, you know... That, you know, oh, this is the end of it all, because I understand that this is Alpha, and he yeah. has said several times that this is not a final decision on yeah. on how he wants it to work in the end. But like, I, I just, at the moment, I, d I don't like it, because there isn't... There, there isn't, isn't an there alternative, are no other options. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. There are no other guns that you can compensate for the immense energy requirement. Well, the only thing that I don't like about this is the fact that you can take a, thunder a Thunderdome... Uh, sorry, a Thunderdome-sized ship, make it in a giant, you know, counter-waffle. The, the root of the problem is the single-block AMC groups. And to be fair, it's still okay. Because it's so small that it's not as affected. Because of the group. So it's almost like what, what he's tried to do is a step in the right direction, but I think the algorithm might need tweaking to make it. And maybe, a, I know it sounds harsh, but maybe a little bit more conditional and I, I couldn't yeah. I couldn't suggest what on but it seems like there needs to be another condition in in there so it's not quite as simple as just an accumulative factor yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I think I, there's a lot of stuff and I'll be honest that... I'll, I'll be honest the hailstorm system is way OP yeah. and I, it, I, it I could do with redesigning it you know so I'm not so bothered if, yeah, it's, if it's still broken but the point, the point is, it 
a lot of other people who haven't really got OP weapon systems are still sort of going, well, hang on a minute, I'm using like 10 times as much energy. Yeah, <laughs> and you get such diminishing returns. I mean, that, I mean that's 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 the whole thing I'm, I'm saying. That, you know, mm. now you're getting such diminishing returns on your on the energy that you're putting out in, in terms yeah. of your damage. Because you know, the like shields a, are better, your reload exactly, is slower. Yeah, with my Ballistnir, I mean, my DPS is cut by a third. <laughs> and the power is higher. My, exactly, my <laughs> DPS is cut by a third because I only fire a third the amount of shots now. So that's a third less deep. That's my, my DPS mm -hmm. is down by 66%. My energy requirement is probably quadruple. Through the roof. Through the roof. It, it's it's it quadruples more. way in under. Theory, in theory, it's I think what 100 and, or a thousand percent or something like is that. Is that because... havoc? Is havoc here? Yeah. Mate, we're talking about AMCs. So I'd love to hear your input. The Trinity costs 120 million plus per shot. Um, and it runs, it can shoot like four times before it's out of power, and, uh, that's pretty bad, but in my opinion, uh, Schema has two options here. He can either nerf shields or... Hang on a sec, off. hang on a sec. I'll just turn my mic off. If you were to just make a ship that has 20 million shields, mm -hmm. no ship right now would be able to break that. No, no it, ship it, it wouldn't. break it. Because you'd run out of power, and then their shields would recharge by the time mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't get close. No. So he, the way I see it's two options. He rebuffs AMCs a little bit, not all the way. Um, I like me and me and Tamino have talked about it before that AMCs yeah. were yeah. OP. Um, they needed a nerf, but not to be nerfed to the ground. Um, or he can nerf shields because this the, the well, current well, setup isn't that bad, but it's yeah. Just, well, see, okay. Here's here's the thing is that he. Because he buffed shields and nerfed AMCs at the same time, virtually, I think that's where the, the imbalance came at. Because, as I've, I've said before, that okay, what he was saying is that with AMCs, that he wants a bigger AMC array to fire slower. The problem is, is that the, the equation is busted. It doesn't work. I've tested it. It's it's backwards. Okay. In effect, what that means is that the fastest firing AMC block is a single block AMC. And at yeah. that point, that's a hard cap. So you can set that to whatever he wants. Say, 10 shots a second, 5 shots a second. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? But the, the problem is, is that because now, now because now everything fires slower, A, for one. For two, everything requires, the AMCs anyway, requires so much more energy. Um, your, your DPS is cut by like a third. If, mm. if not more, I mean, well, probably more than that. I mean, your, your DPS is probably half of what it was, if not more, depending on your setup. Like I said, my Ballistnir, I, I only have 30% the DPS that I had before this nerf. So I'm down to a third the DPS, or down to a third of what it was. So yeah. if, and the problem is, like I, I've said, I mean, if, if now, now it's a numbers game because, you know, if, if I can't, if my DPS can't out, DPS your shield regen, then you're invulnerable to me. And, and I get that point, but you know my thing is, is that because now it's so much more difficult to actually ever get to that point. Because my, if my they, if near, the thing is, if they don't shoot you, this is the thing. If they don't shoot you, and you use up all your energy, now your shields don't recharge and theirs do. So you end up in a sort of Mexican standoff situation where they can just sort of watch you shooting them for ages and then when they can see yeah, you've got no power it's it's you know they can just take your well, shields down if this would be like uh this would be a lot like that a uh, new jj trek movie thing where the main character is beating on the antagonist and the antagonist is just sitting there taking it until the uh, main character tires out and he's like are you done yet well pretty much yeah. the, the time to kill has gone up yeah I'm, what, i mean it, it's almost ridiculous because Okay, I did this. I, I actually did this. You were here, Will, when I did this. I had my Ballistnir in single player. I was on the pre build before it was released officially. Mm. I was on the pre build with, with the with the nerf and, and the buff to shields. My Ballistnir, I had 60, 60 Isans firing at me, and they could not kill me. No. I sat here for probably more than half an hour just chilling. They couldn't, they couldn't get through my shields. It's because they don't have enough combined DPS. 
that's my point yeah and i'm like seriously 65 and you know i mean i get yeah. the point i get what he's saying that you know i understand that you know everybody wants this to kind of be more of like it, a fleet tactical it thing makes sense groups but, of fighters yeah, the, the problem but is 60 same reason capital's broke no Every because broke. no 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 no, no, no that's the difference because of the way that turret construction is limited to box size it means that none of the gun arrays are like stupid so most of them yeah. He, most None of them, them are stupid. Have no, you seen? Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, then there's Rip. Oh. Hey, plenty of stupid arrays. Hey, I'm not calling hey, yours. I'm t mine is pretty stupid. Mine's mine's ridiculous. My turret. You've seen my turret. Yeah, right? I based yeah, mine, I off mine off yours. <laughs> How's my mine's ridiculous? Oh, no, not, those ones. Long. Not, not my nice. first ones. The Trinity. But, ones. Oh, have you got the new ones? ones. Okay. But, but what it's Havoc is forgetting, I, I don't know if he was here for this, if he's planning on implementing higher tiers worth of weapons, this nerf makes exact sense. Yeah. AMCs are meant for fighters, and there are going to be bigger weapons coming meant for capitals. No, right. yeah. make it so, which don't add you yeah, know, more thing. energy per array, or they have penetration. Yeah. Well, for and example, or something. everyone and if knows... if there are higher tier energy generators, then... Well, well this they... is the thing, like what you say, they? you know we were talking about blocks and custom blocks and so on. Okay, you could just have a T2 AMC, which is exactly the same as a normal AMC, but it has the old power cap on it. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? They cost loads, but they're better. I and that would be so the, easy. The full crafting simple system is implemented. <laughs> yeah, you could end up yeah. be, putting a spin cubitom in and ending up with a different weapon. See, we just we just don't know which way he's going to go with it at this point. So I'm yeah, just no, going to sit on the fence. Thing that he, he really should implement <clears throat> is the the concept of technology. You mm. know, where where it could be something something similar to like an enchantment system in you know some other kind of game like a minecraft or a, you know skyrim where yeah. you just make the weapon you have better right you know so you can take say you know <clears throat> you know I, you know i don't know how he would implement it you know there's a billion different ways he could go with it mm. but one example could be for example um just an idea you know you throw in say like in, in a factory kind of thing you throw in your AMCs, your level one AMCs. You have some kind of a recipe or something with materials, yeah. and it you know it produces a better weapon of that type. Uh. You know what I mean? Like that's an idea. <laughs> uh, honestly, I think we're gonna get higher tier weapons, extra things, better energy generating blocks, better storage tanks, even better shields later down the line. But what, what everyone needs to remember, and I think Tamino's right, that this is it, it, it's an alpha. Yeah. I mean, this isn't even beta. No. I mean, look at like the, the planetary annihilation when it was an alpha and in beta, it was mm. or, or an alpha. It was bad. Yeah. But it, this it, is it's really good already. Huge improvements. You know. In its beta stage, so we're just going through alpha growth right now. Mm. Right. No, well, I, I mean, he's I totally going. Okay, I'm gonna. Lower the uh, damage of AMCs, and if he is, which I think he is going to implement new well, tiers of weapons. put it this way, right? Put sense. it this way, sometimes in dev test, well, sometimes in testing cycles, they'll literally turn around and go, okay, we're going to disable AMCs because no one's using D1000s, and we want everyone using D1000s for the next month. And then we'll bring the... Some, sometimes you get companies like that where they'll literally... Go look! Everyone's just using this one item. You know, we we don't want to know any more about that item yet. You know, it's, it, I know that's not what's happening here. I'm just saying that we're lucky it's not like that, where some weapon is just removed from the game for a temporary basis so that they can do stuff with it, or so that they can force everyone down a route. You know, because at the moment, let's be fair, the fashion was space shotgun AM. or space sniper AMC. You know, I don't think yeah, I ever it. even I, I never even touched the power drain or the power supply beams yet. Well, never, me neither. There's no, there's no I don't think anybody has. Yeah, there's because, no point to them. Because there was no function. But now, see, I was thinking the other night. I was like, wow, with all this, with all these power problems, I'm starting to think about fleet power energy power spidering. Has no power. No, not drain. If power no ship ever. Power supply power habit. 
powers. I know they're still, still I, I guess they are, mate, but this is the problem. If no one uses them, no one's giving any feedback about why and how they could be changed, because all, all anyone's interested in is is the shields and the AMCs. If you go on um, on Reddit and look at some of the suggestions, all the popular ones are like the buzzwords, like the warp drive, like this, like that. And as soon as people were like, oh, shields, AMCs, and everyone was suddenly on the case, you know, because people were like, oh, you can't touch my guns, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said, I think I think he is implementing, going to implement better weapons down the line. I think mm. this is just the first step to doing that, because if you're going to add a new item that's more powerful, and the only item you had now was a tier one, well, you have to yeah. nerf that item down to you its do. tier one status before yeah. you can add or the tier, tier two. Or the tier two is just going to be crazy. Well, this yeah. is the thing. I mean, it might be because a lot of people have been suggesting a weapon type for capital ships that just have one projectile for the whole group, and it would scale up with the size of the dimension of that group. So I don't know if that's even. I don't even know if that's well, a but, thing. It's pure but speculation. Is, but right. But the thing is, is that with the AMCs, like I was saying earlier, that he he was wanting them to fire slower as the group got bigger. I mm. think that's what he was going for. Yeah. From yeah. the get go. But yeah. then he turned around and said, but wait, there's more. Now because we're going to do this power now thing. Now we're going to have even mm. more, you know, now it's going to be even worse because now you have to have exponentially more power uh, the to problem do was, more than one array. The problem was the way the groupings worked and the exponential amount of DPS you could gain for the same amount of mass and energy requirement. So it sort of made people that were building big turrets like, you know, as a single group look stupid because of the amount of damage they weren't getting right but uh, you know but the thing is is you know that that's my that's kind of where I'm, i think we've kind of gotten to mm. is the, the, the people that do make a large array one big array mm. you have your range is is ridiculous because you don't really need 5,000 meter range isn't there a drop off isn't there a massive damage fall off now with snipers well, snipers I, I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but before the update, I tested it, and there was no damage drop off. I mean, I mean, no, as far as I I mean know, now, because we did it. We did it with Havoc a while back, but it was a different ship. No, I, I think I think what happens is I, I think just it might miss, but I, I don't. Uh, there's it's like, not there's missing. No, there's no it's focus drop off. Fire it's get less power fire. Fire as On a sniper, you won't notice it because a sniper's gun does like 1,200 damage per shot. So exactly. even at a quarter of its damage, it's going to destroy any block in one shot. Yeah. That, but yeah. That's, but the Trinity, my point is, is the, my point is, is that with that, 1,200 damage per shot, because the Bliskner does 800 damage per shot. So in theory, it has enough damage to kill two blocks with one shot. You know, like what I think what we suggest is that if you added the penetration mechanic to that, then it would make snipers way more viable now, because... I think they were discouraging with, with, that, though, with weren't they? With the new power requirement, with the new power requirement, because mm. now what 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 you're gonna do is okay. So it, like I said, instead of having on my ballistic, for example, instead of having a hundred individual arrays, I'm gonna take all of those hundred arrays and combine them into one gi gi gargantuan array, and it's gonna do like five thousand damage per shot. But it's completely wasted once your shields are down because I can only do kill one block at a time. Yeah. And yeah. I can only fire yeah, but maybe, so fast. Yeah, but maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe it's because he doesn't want big capital ships going in for the kill anymore. Maybe he wants people but, to start but leaving why? it. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a difference that's in the attitude of to. what a large oh. ship's for, I guess. Like, yeah, I think but that's it's what but, um, I mean, See, the thing is, though, with my fighters, um. I have to completely strip all the armor off and put nothing but energy on them from the alien shoot and fly at the same time now. The, yeah, the, exactly. The, the I don't, that's right. the problem with all of my ships. The big problem here really, okay, if, if we're going to say that now the biggest ships are only useful as turret platforms and flying hangars, yeah? If that's really mm -hmm. going to be the case and we're going to leave everything to medium and small sized fighters to do the actual dog fighting and the actual taking out of the ship core, if that is really the case, we need turrets to be able to shoot at other turrets, because otherwise it's never going to work. Yeah, because the fighters just get shot down. Yeah, the fighters just get also... shot down, and then you've got a bunch of dead ships, and everyone's sitting at the spawn like, well, Even that didn't work. Even if you want to rely 
on see, fighters and medium-sized ships. Hey. It's still useless against shields. The if you problem land, with that. You just make a huge ship yeah, but that's what the turrets are for. See, but you, at the moment, the right? Invincible. Yeah, say you've got two big ships with turrets come and come up to each other, okay? They're both shooting at each other. Their turrets are shooting at each other's cores. That will take the shields down over time. So then the fighters are deployed, and when the shields are down, bombers can put bombs down, AMCs can snipe out the core when it's exposed. And then each side would be shooting each other down during this crossfire. I can envision that as being a nice little way to do fleet combat. combat. But the but problem the with problem. it is that the turrets will start shooting at the fighters even after the ship's main core is dead. So you've won, you know. <laughs> you know, you you've beaten him, but his turrets will still keep on mopping but up. How would you ever break through those shields? With your uh, with the turrets right, on the capital, you, the turrets on the your turrets. capital. You can't have big turrets because they won't be able to sustain fire. You can't. Yeah, but that's the point. Even though know, they they can, they they, they, they yes they can. But the, the be point is because you're I not think, firing think, a big gun. If you've got a if you've got a ship that's just a big hangar with turrets on it, the power of the ship would keep the turrets going. I mean, yeah, honestly, uh, hard what's happening that's at this exactly point. how my command carrier operates. It has 16, 17 turrets and no primary weapons of its own. And that works. But see, Tom, the problem with that is it takes away the single player mode of the whole game. It does, yeah. It yeah, stops it you from thinking, I'm going to build a ship and then I'm going to make a bigger class and a bigger class because it battleship classes are now a little bit... isn't You know, you, you wouldn't strive towards a battleship anymore. I think you would strive from a fighter to a carrier, pretty much. You go fighter, fighter with turrets, carrier. It still Whereas, hasn't changed the AI, therefore fighters are still useless because they suck. Exactly. Because yeah, only if you're, you're flying gonna, you're them yourself. You're going to be the one flying the carrier. Yeah, you're, you're going to be the one flying the fighter too at the moment, I think. <laughs> well, yeah, you're, so, you're, you're gonna, so at the moment, it's like fleet is just going to be two guys show up in their carriers, they park the carriers, they each yeah. get in their fighter, and then they go and fight each other in the fighter, and they yeah. both get blown up by, the by their own turrets. Turret. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I Yeah. Well, I, I, think, I think this course of conversation has turned from intelligence conversation on what they might be doing into ranting. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> hey, I'm happy with it. It gives me an, an excuse to redesign hey, uh, all my Tom, ships maybe again. Maybe you should look behind you. Um, yeah, but I'm looking behind me, there's no one there. Just me in oh, here. Gee, I should be right behind you. <laughs> I'm oh, you mean in the game? Ah, yeah, yes. of course. Oh, very <laughs> nice. It kind of looks like an atlas. Hey, Tom. Purple atlas. I like well, that. Well, no, this is uh, Londa Bell's newest battle mech. That's really nice. I took uh, I like Dalmont's NX and made it into this. Nice. See, that was an idea, you hey. know. Hey. Is Dalmont here still, or has he had to go? No, uh, he's not. no, he and go. he actually already has a blueprint of this. This one I did for you. Enjoy. Nice. I was thinking what we should if do. If you take a look at its shield, you should see something familiar. We should probably release a um. We should release a um. Like a, a, a you know, like an unhold. Like take the hull off one of them and just release it. I have one that is unarmed. I see that you've got like the mushroom shield. It does look like what's on the... Uh, oh, that would be cool. It's the one from um, the Sinanju. It's the shield which has the explosive bits that come out the back bottom. Yeah. There. Yeah, the badass shield. And you could actually strip out some of the shields and put a rocket launcher in the shield. Oh, that's really good, you know. That works. That really works. Yeah, this is what I've been working on for the last hour and a half on the server is this battle mech. This is really hey, Tom. nice. I've been making the space. So station. anyway, guys, that's yeah. been a really great discussion we've been having there. You know, it, 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 everyone's got Gosh. their strong feelings on the subject. So I'm glad you, you guys were restrained yeah. in uh, your choice of language. And um, yeah. basically, I'll, <laughs> I'll put this up as a short little video on the channel. So well, I won't, I won't be able to note. credit everybody because I don't know exactly who was speaking and when, but. Hopefully, it might be of some use in discussion for others. I don't know. So, yeah, oh, you were recording this whole time? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching, oh, and geez. I'll see you next um, time.